to the show and you know, at this time of the year, a lot of people, you're having office parties, you know, get togethers with your friends at home and even just with your family. So sometimes you're always looking for, you know, somebody has to bring desserts or appetizers or something and you're looking for something different. So one of the things that the Ben Franklin stores now carries is push-up pops. Now, when you were a kid, you remember those little things that were like paper tubes and they had like kind of like frozen yogurt and you pushed it up and you ate it, right? Very similar. Instead, these are plastic, so they're reusable. And what you do is you get your bottom part and you stick it in, kind of give it a twist so that it stays in place. There's a little hole in the bottom and we're gonna pop it in there, okay? We carry a holder that you can actually line up all your little push pops so, so that when you take it apart, or you can also do things like um, stick it in styrofoam, cover up the styrofoam, put it in different things. It all depends on what you're gonna have in there. So I believe in life is too short, so have dessert first. So I'm gonna show you a dessert one first, okay? Now, I'm very, very simple. It's kind of like a what they call a trifle. So I'm taking pound cake, and I'm actually using the container, and I'm gonna just use that as my, how would you say, it's sort of like um, my uh, cutter, okay? So I got that. Now, I already put one in, I have mine done. Now, the next thing I'm gonna layer it with is some Cool Whip. And you can use whipped cream or something. Now, what I found when I did it before was when you try to spoon in Cool Whip, it's a little bit harder to keep it from getting all messy on the sides. So instead, I'm just gonna um, feed it through the bag here. So I got a regular sandwich Ziploc type bag and I filled it with some Cool Whip. And I'm just gonna pipe it in. Oh yeah, that's a lot better than before. So. See how I'm just piping some in, like that. Okay. Now I didn't want to make a whole batch of Jello, so I'm just using some Jello from a Jello cup. And this is a great idea if you're just making a couple for the kids, you know, after school or something. And I'm just going to take some Jello, and we're going to pop some Jello in. And see how the Jello looks so nice because it's all colorful and things like that. Okay, so we got our jello going in there. That's our next layer. So hmm, I think I think I want more whipped cream, more cool whip. So we'll put some more cool whip in there. Just a little. And then we will get another piece of pound cake. Cause that's kind of like what trifles are. You usually make like slices of cake. And then more Cool Whip. <laughs> yep, we like that. Cool Whip is really cool. Okay. And then we're gonna top it off with more little scoops of Jello. Now this is really fun and it looks really like, like you hired a caterer to do your fancy little desserts but it's also fun for the people to eat because they just eat it. They push it up by layers and they can just eat a little bit at a time. And you can um, put sprinkles or other things. Then if you want, you can just take your little cover and pop it on. So doesn't that look really festive? Like, wow, can you imagine all the different flavors and things you can make? Okay, so like I said, I like dessert. That was an easy one and it's using very simple products. Now, when I look at stuff, I also like to look at food food. So I'm gonna make another one. And this is probably one of my favorites. I'm gonna make one with poke. So I got some poke and let's see. Oh, I think I'm gonna use some spicy tuna. Okay, so same way. So we're gonna do a little bit of rice, so get some rice. And you know, you can do like, put, uh, mix it with furikake or whatever, and just put your rice in, okay? And then we're gonna get some 
Ooh, some nice chunks here of some spicy tuna. You want ya? We have people watching, you know, the other guests on the show, so they're getting hungry. You'll have to wait a little bit. Okay, and then you can put another layer of rice. So putting another layer of rice and just build it up. And you know, you could even do it where you put one flavor of poke and then you put another flavor. So you can kind of mix it up. There we go. And then what I like to do is, I kind of leave it at that. And then, don't mind, but I like to put a little bit of those naughty thingies. This one's a little too long. It's hard to find those little tiny naughties. I should probably cut these in half, but not with my scissors. So there you go. And it, it, it really is good. Um, a lot of people thought, oh, you know, when they see these, they think they're just for desserts. But no, you can do, you know, here in Hawaii, we like sushi, we like poke. This is another way to eat it. And you probably want to put this, um, set this in the fridge before serving or keep it on a bed of ice. But that's, that's really the easiest thing to do now. And it's so much fun because you just need a few. We sell them individually and you just need a few. Have them around the house and you can make little treats for the kids. You can put ice cream. You can put cookies. You can just think of all the different things you can do and have a lot of fun. So this is a great idea for the holidays. So I'm going to take a short break because i got to feed some people in here. And we'll be right back. <laughs> 